broken. Okay, there we go. Uh, plans for zombies a game about defending your home from zombies who want to eat you. Or something. The main defenses? Types of plants like this. The appeasement family. But what if I cut that in half? Can we beat Ancient Egypt of Plants for Zombies 2 without pea shooters? It has an added challenge, nothing that has pea shooter in its name, or anything that's a part of the appeasement family that has similar attributes, like the puff shroom or peanut. There are also other things that will be restricting that I'm probably not going to mention here because I can't think of anything that we'll probably remember later. And I'm gonna be using, and I'm gonna try to restrict myself from using many plants that use zero sun. Now I'm gonna skip by levels that are boring or just way too simple, or like we can't really do much with. I don't think I'll be able to do any conveyor belt levels because most have pea shooters. So yes, it's probably impossible, but eh, who cares. I'll do the levels that I know I don't have to without pea shooters. So I'll get my plants and then meet you back. We now have our loadout and are ready to play the game. Since I've played this level quite a few times, obviously, the game's gonna be like, hey, let's start it off kinda hard. Which I say no to that by putting it in a fume room. I decided to take out this guy because he has plant food, which would be useful, obviously, for gaining sun and defending. I decided to focus on, you know, getting these guys ready and adding sun to the table. I put in some of these boys and put in a squash so we can defend easier. The reason that I'm doing this later on when I'm later in the game and have a ton of good, better plants is because I'm pretty sure it'd be impossible to do it just from the start. Okay, I gotta get him to eat the shadow soon. Sir, no. No plant for you. That's illegal. And that's level one complete. Two dash two is a cakewalk, and we're moving on. Now our first level. This level, I can't remember if it has pea shooters or anything like that in it. So I decide I'll just watch. But I'm pretty sure it's an introduction into powering up plants. This level was just like I thought, just an introduction to power ups and had no features or anything in it. Moving on. I skip level 4 because it's just a because all you can do is use power ups. The game insists that I use a plant that requires zero sun, so I say no. Throw it to keep it. And absolutely and absolutely destroy any zombies who just say no to my answer. And with that, we can move on to the next level. Now this level is where things get complicated. The game insists that we use a conveyor belt that's filled to the brim with plants that could absolutely invalidate us from completing this challenge. What do I do to, to confront this? I refuse to plant pea shooters. Hope that I get greater RNG. And make sure that nothing touches the ice boys. 
And surprisingly, no features or anything came out. I guess they just wanted to use ancient Egypt plants with a few of the normals. Level 7 is yet another conveyor belt level. Which, I don't remember anything about this level from when I first played. Meaning, I get absolutely screwed over if I am not careful. Thankfully, level, level, bleh, bleh, bleh. the seventh level had nothing, no t shirts or anything. But this is where things get annoying. The game refuses to not to, to make us have a choice anymore. And forces that we have the iceberg let us on. Another issue? These guys. They may not look like much, but they can spawn graves, which can make things extremely heated. What do I do to combat this? Well... What I do... is I just absolutely obliterate every hope they had of survival. Next, we make it to level... Uh, I forgot the number. Whatever. Whatever level this is, we need to grind. And I mean grind hard. Because we can only use boomerangs because the game refuses to allow us to have any other types of points. So, we'll see how this goes. But the level was extremely easy. Almost every level after is a cakewalk. Well, all except for one. The Dr. Zomboff fight. This fight is, is, pretty, is kind of easy once you have your upgrade plant. But here's the difficult part. Since repeaters are a type of pea shooter, and ice boards exist, they're going to be offered quite a lot. Meaning, we're going to have to rely right on these plants. Any plants that are against the rules, I need to get rid of immediately. Yes, I did just find a pea shooter, but, but I had to get rid of it. My main bit of advice for this? Spray. Spray for good RNG, or die trying. This is where I realized that I have to use some zero sun plants. It was never against the rules, I just wanted to try not to use them. But I'm afraid I'll have to if I want to survive. a lot of close calls with these guys. 
the repeaters keep coming. So you gotta find good times so you can get them out of your inventory. Because if you don't, you're dead. And sometimes, you just gotta get rid of them. is the most tested. I say try to have one safe spot so you can constantly get rid of repeaters. Make sure that, that the gargantua can get frozen and that imp can get killed off fast. Otherwise, you're going to get overwhelmed by the amount of zombies that come your way. If there are any rows that get that get screwed over, you want to protect those rows at all costs. And by screwed over, I mean any rows that lose plants. I mean not plants. Any rows. If there are any rows you get that lose a lawnmower, protect those rows at all costs. I'm gonna say it off the bat, this level would not be... Is it possible to beat Ancient Egypt and Plants for Zombies 2 without using any pea shooter plants? Or appeasement plants? Or plants that are similar to that? Yes, it is possible. But I don't think it's possible from the very beginning of the game. If you do it from the start of the game, when you have no plants, except the originals, I don't think you'd be able to beat it. Why is that? Because the only offensive plants you'd have are the potato mines. So, is it possible to beat it from the very beginning? Probably not, considering... At this point, most of my plants are level 3 or 4. But, at the beginning of the game, that's not the case. Sure, you'd be getting tons of pinatas that would give you tons of coins, but you wouldn't, or you probably wouldn't be able, even then, to get your plants to the level to where, well, what I'm saying, if you were to try to do this, you'd need lots of RNG to get the good amount of seed packets for those plants rather than the pea shooter plants. And the fact that this fight is hectic and I had to sacrifice a lawnmower and had to and had to get good RNG. There were tons of times where my inventory was filling up with pea shooters. So I don't think it's possible to do this alone. You'd have to do it late when you are later on in the game and have more plants. And with that, tell me what challenge I should do next. I'll see you all next time.